Hi everybody. So today we're going to try something new. I have been watching the Lavinia stamps videos. I will try to remember to link them either at the bottom or in the end here for you. So I picked up this new round jelly press. This is a four inch round gel press uh, from Marco's Paper at the stamp show for $9.99. I have some distress watercolor cardstock here. And I'm going to start with some Distress Ink, and I'm going to leave. This has two pieces of protective plastic on it, so I'm just going to pull off the top layer. Leave that exposed. Okay. All right. And I'm going to start with some Abrayer and some Tumbled Glass Ink. And I'm just going to ink that up on the gel press. And yes, I know it's going to be hard for you guys to see. Okay. So I believe there is some tumbled glass on there. And I have some brushes here in a couple different colors. So I'm going to actually use the mixed media matte part of our tonic mat here and I have a little cup of water off to the side here. And I'm going to start with some purple and all I'm going to do is just sprinkle a little bit on the media mat here. Purple, some uh, turquoise. and some lime green. And I'm just gonna take some paint brushes. Actually, where's my spray tool? Okay. So just kind of wet that down. All right, I'm going to start with the lime green, and all I'm going to do is just kind of flick it onto the um, gel plate. Then I'm going to move into this turquoise and do the same thing. And then we'll grab some of this purple. Now we're gonna take, I think we'll use the smooth side of this Tim Holtz paper. And just press that onto place here. Now I have not tried this yet, so you guys are going along with me here to see how this comes out. cool I think we need to saturate it some more all right so I'm gonna do it again and I'm only lifting and rolling up on the brayer and as I put it shit down same thing start from the bottom roll and lift roll and lift so you don't want a back and forth motion because that's not going to evenly distribute your ink so roll and lift. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to go a little heavier on the colors here. So again, well, I'm just going to start with the turquoise since I already have that out. I think I'm going to water them down some more. I was just using this mat today and I had already embossed something. I was doing some watercolor pencils with it. Now I am doing this, you know, watercolor spritz. And this is all stuff that can, you know, it is very messy. I mean, I have spritz all in the front of the desk now already. Um, but using this mat makes it so easy to clean everything up. It really does. And I'm really 
really concentrating these darker colors more down towards the bottom here. front of my desk like my brush shows everything that's on the front of the desk is all got speckled spots on it now I probably should have done this in a splatter box Grab another piece of paper. Again, we're going to go smooth side. I'm going to go this way. That's much better. I really like that look better than the other one. All right, so let's clean up this little mess here so we can move on with our actual stamping. I'm just gonna wipe this down with a paper towel. Move my brush shows out of the way. easy to clean everything up. All right, so I'm going to use my VersaFine Claire ink in Nocturne. I do have some other colors here. You watch Leah's fairy videos, the same colors that she was using. So I'm going to let that one dry some more and practice on this one a little bit. And I have a whole mixture of fairy stamps here. So I have some Lavinia stamps. I have some stamps from So Susie. Um, I have stamps from Crafter's Companion. I mean, I have a whole little mini collection of fairy stamps here that I'm going to use. I think this one I want to save for over here. So I'll use that one later. But in the meantime, I think we can do some foliage here. Fol foliage, foliage. All right, this is a Lavinia stamp. I don't know what it is. A whole bunch of tiny little flowers. And I picked these up from a while ago from um, da, 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 Tupelo Designs LLC. Okay. I'm trying to see here. I got quite a few foliage stamps here. All right, and then I have these from... Um, the, I don't know what the name of it is, Enchanted Forest Collection from Crafter's Companion. I picked up the whole kit from HSN. All right, so I'm going to start with these flowers, and I'm going to ink them up in Fantasia, which is like a purple color. I guess I should be on a stamping mat. Stamping mat helps when you're using photopolymer stamps so that you get a more even um, 
stamp, stamped image. stamping there. A little overzealous with the ink. Let's stamp right over it. There we go. Then I have some of these kind of vines. I think they're vines. I'm going to kind of curve this one to make it a little, look a little wavy. ink these up in verdant which is a nice lime green and I'm using the VersaFine Clair inks because with these silicone stamps the VersaFine Clair inks really do um, stick nicely going to do it in this is green oasis I'm gonna stamp it off and just kind of these tiny little mushrooms from Lavinia. And I'm going to do these in this um, I think I'll do them in this new color, Acorn, which is a brownish color. chocolatey brown. I'm actually going to stamp those off and then put them in. I just stamped that out in yellow and I don't think it's dark enough so I'm gonna go with like a darker pink purple delight this one's called there we go and I'm just going to stamp right over where I just had this
think that looks pretty cool. Now let's pick out our fairy and put our fairy in here. Let's see. Kind of like this. Oh yeah, we're gonna put this big one in here. This is one from the Crafters Companion kit. Now this is brand new. I haven't used this one yet. I'll grab a larger block here. Okay, so since I haven't used this one yet, before I stamp with it, I am just going to take an eraser and just kind of rub it down. I'm going to stamp with some um, Versamark ink first and just stamp it off. And this is just to condition the stamp because it is a um, silicone stamp. We want it to accept our ink and be super dark. All right, so now we can bring our image back in. And we're going to do this one in some, in the Versafine Claire Nocturne ink, which is the black. Should have put it on the misty. Whoopsie. too bad. Okay. Now we're going to grab that um, stamp through that I got from Double Trouble. And I just want to grab this outer circle. And I'm going to use this as a mask. And I think I'm going to grab... This is the Purple Delight again. And I have one of my little cheapy dollar store blending brushes here. And I'm just going to kind of hold that over the, the center of our image there, basically mimicking with where our gel press is and very gently off of the stencil circular out. That really pops, it's so cute. And then I'm gonna take some of the darker purple, which is um, Fantasia. Take that, and I'm gonna go in off the corners and go in and make the, the outsides darker. how cute that is all right I am just going to real quick grab a black memento marker and just fill in down here real quick okay and then I'm also going to grab jelly roll pen and I actually put my stencil back on 
and I'm going to trace around. This is the Jelly Roll um, Super Fine Glitter Pen, and I know it's hard to see on camera, but I'll see if I can get it at an angle where you guys can see it. And I'm also going to color in the wings. Really super easy, quick way to add sparkle. That is so cute. Okay. Oops, camera's over here. I have to keep remembering that this camera is closer and um, to the right more. Okay, is it picking up the sparkle? You guys see that? So that's that one. I really like the, how that one came out. This one we're gonna do in a similar fashion. This one I wanted to use this giant stamp which came from So Suzy Stamps. It looks like she's hanging out on the moon. We're gonna give this one a little dar a darker look. So before I stamp her down, I am going to um, color the outside real quick. So we're gonna use the Fantasia again, which is the dark purple. really want the corners and the edges to be dark. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now for this one, because she's up in the sky, let's see here. Do we have some star stamps? Here we go. Um, I want this to look like trees are coming up. Do I have trees somewhere? Somewhere I have trees that I can do along the bottom here so it looks like a tree scene. Hold on. Actually, not going to do them in green. That would be too obvious. No, no. Okay, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. We are going to do this in gray. trees. I 
That came out of the Lovely as a Tree set from Stampin' Up, a classic set. If you don't have this set, I will link it for you. It's a great, great set. Very versatile. Okay. Now... Stamp her there. Should have used the Misty. Okay. This is Bluebell, which is a little bit darker blue. I'm going to go in with this. Just do the outside of our little circle here. Okay, and I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do for playing around with these guys. I just wanted to play with the gel press and get some of these stamps out. And that's all we have. So... Sometimes you just get to get things out and just have fun playing around with them. So this is the first one we did. It does kind of look like a garden scene to me. What do you guys think? And then this is the one that I feel looks like a moon scene. Very pretty. I mean, I wish it did uh, stamp out darker, but I should have used the Misty for that. But I think they still look pretty cool. Make some nice card fronts just to say hi or thank you to somebody. So that's all I got. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I will try to link the Lavinia stamps for you guys so you guys can watch their videos. Um, and if you have any questions, put your comments down below. And as always, keep on watching and uh, keep on stamping. Bye-bye, guys.